Good day YouTubers, my name is James Samuel aka The Bullets and this is my top 10 YouTube videos. Now number one has to go to The Bullets Super Cool. It's a video I directed myself and a lot of times I'll have an idea and I'll execute it and it won't come out exactly the same but I'd like it anyway. That could be for a song or for a music video or for a short film or whatever. But Super Cool is one of those uh, you know, fortunate times where that idea comes out 10 times better uh, in its execution than you conceived it. And this idea came out great because of one reason, Rosario Dawson. You know, the way she took on board the idea of the tramp and the trolley and me seeing her on the street and recognising her and going crazy. But the way she played it was unlike I could have possibly imagined. There's a time, there's a, a bit where she does a kick and three hops to the side when she starts jamming. And it's absolutely amazing. And Rosario is that swagged out in real life. So shout out to Rosario. And super cool gets, the, gets my top video, like the first video. Um... So enjoy that one. Video number two has to go to my favorite skateboarder on the planet right now, Niger Houston. And it's simply called At His Best. He's just amazing, this guy. And, it's, and it, he does like, since he was a kid, we've been watching him on YouTube and what have you. And he does some absolute scientifically gravity-defined stunts. And, I, I, you know, I don't know how a kid that young can have such balance and, and, and you know, such daredevilness. So... He gets the, the number two video. Um, my number three video, right, while, while we're staying on, like, recreational um, sports, is Danny McCaskill, and it's simply called April 2009. Now, Danny McCaskill is a b b brilliant biker. He's actually my favorite um, biker, and I'm a diehard BMX fan, even more so than I, than, I, than I am skateboarding, because I used to bike you know, like a great deal, and I still own a BMX, and you'll still catch me down the street on a on a on a BMX. I'm not as good as Danny McCaskill, but I can hold my own though. So uh, he gets my number three video, and that takes us straight into music, because the number four video on YouTube has to go to Bat for Lashes. What's a girl to do? That video is absolutely dope. When she's singing and riding her bike all instantly, and it's in the dark, but it's kind of it's it's still kind of you know, kind of scary. And all of a sudden, these bikers come out from behind her and start doing these stunts in unison, in routine, to the song. And it's just amazing. So she definitely gets the number four video, Bat for Lashes, What's a Girl to Do? Amazing. Number five video goes to Battlefest. Dollars versus Storyboard P. Now, we're going to take you straight into, into the world of street dance with this one. Storyboard P is the most amazing street dancer I've ever seen. Like, the, the dude embodies all types of dance and all types of styles in one, in one swift, swift go, but with, a, with such a theatrical performance. And people travel from all over the world to battle this guy, and he is amazing. A personal friend of mine as well, so shout out to Storyboard P. And Battlefest is where he takes the... Battlefest 13 is where he takes the, the, the belt, and he, he challenges um, Dollars, and, and he, gets, he gets Dollars. You know, Dollars is good, but he's no Storyboard P, in my opinion. And while we're on the subject of Storyboard P, the interview with Storyboard P is my number six uh, video. Like, this guy is literally the John Michel Basquiat of dance. And the way he expl explains uh, how he moves in this video and, and his inspirations and, and what's behind him is, is, is absolutely, like, mesmerizing. He's dope, storyboard piece. So we're going to see him again in this, in this top ten. But that interview uh, gets my number six uh, choice. And shout out to friendly Lamorin, the, the guy who shot and, and directed the interview. You know, because that's a, that's that was my introduction into Storyboard P. All right, number seven has to go to the bullets. Close your eyes. Now, I done two close your eyes videos. I done an unofficial one, which I re-edited um, the French uh, Salvador Dali and Louis Buñuel movie and Shana and Delu. But this video features Storyboard P somewhere in Brooklyn, and I had such a joy editing it, man. It was amazing just looking at, at this guy's this guy's moves, and he's just dancing to the, he made this routine to the song, Close Your Eyes, and it was better than I could have ever imagined. I just literally wanted Storyboard P to, to uh, you know, to, to dance to Close Your Eyes, but he just came out with the swag of Swag City, and it was directed by Mark Baptiste, so shout out to Mark Baptiste, and shout out to Storyboard P, and they get the number seven. All right, 
Number eight has to go to my homie and like a serial murderous spitter called Most Def, a.k.a. Yassine Bey. And this was a song of his last album, The Ecstatic. It's called Casa Bay. Uh, you know, the video is great. And the song is one of my favorite Most Def songs because he just spits from start to finish. Like literally, as soon as the beat kicks in, one beat and he's on it. And it's just an amazing, uh, you know, amazing song. I'm using that word amazing a lot today because these are my amazing picks, right? So shout out to Most Def. And he gets, he gets my number eight video. All right. Number nine is Muto, a wall animation by Blue, right? Now, when I first saw this video, I couldn't believe it. I was thinking, how could someone put that much time into one piece? Each movement is hand drawn and hand painted. Now, I, this is so buzzing, this video, that you're just gonna have to watch it before I spoil it with an explanation. Because I can't even explain it. How one person can have that much talent and that much uh, time application to do something so great is absolutely bedazzling. And so Muto Blue gets that, gets that, 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 that count. And the number 10 video is the bullets run and hide. Now, I done a song with a rapper called Jay Electronica, who's my absolute. I think you know he's the best rapper in the world. He's my he's my favorite um, artist, and um, he uh, came up with this track, and I wrote a melody over it, and we were kind of like in our David Bowie swag when we done it. But when we were talking about the the track, I kept on just imagining like Jean Luc Godard and Alpha Villain, Breathless, and just film noir. And so I wanted to shoot like an homage to, to Jean-Luc Godard. So I hopped to train to Paris with an actress called Elisa Lusowski, who's a brilliant actress. She was in Shane Meadows' Summerstown. And I shot this, uh, this uh, visual um, with, a, with a subtitled uh, voiceover narrative. And it's just my homage really to French cinema and French uh, film noir. And, um, and it came out, you know, that's one of those videos where it came out um, exactly how I wanted it to come out. So the bullets run and hide gets my top 10 and that rounds off the bullets top 10 videos. And I hope to see you again, again soon. And I feel kind of swagged out after that top 10, you know, like Clark Kent would open his shirt and pull out the S, I open my shirt and pull out the bullets. So I'll see you again soon. I hope you enjoy that top 10. Keep it on rotation because I'll be back again. Peace.